with you, you mad. Up at Ian Corny here on interracial relationships, black men and white women versus black women with white men, or you could exchange white for non-black. So I've noticed in my own life, right, when I'm looking at, let's say that I have experienced, you know, 20 interracial relationships between black men and non and of course it's more than that but i'm just i'm just throwing out a number and let's say that i've you know experienced the opposite as well of course coming from a place like seattle washington where interracial relationships are uh the norm and um it's funny because when you're in seattle like like let's say if you're in you know i don't know pick a state and you are the interracial couple, you're the couple that's getting stared at. But in Seattle, if you are the black couple, everyone's looking at you because you're like a relic, like people just don't see you. And don't be a couple that is, you know, dark skin on dark skin. Everyone is going to stare. When I say everyone, I don't mean just black people. I mean, white people, Asian people, everyone is staring. Everyone is staring. Um, because that's not really what the norm is. And certainly when you do see a black female, black male couple, oftentimes, you know, the woman looks a little bit, you know, racially ambiguous, or she's a red bone, biracial something, but just looking different than the man and not similar. So when you look similar, everyone is looking. I remember walking through the mall with a certain black man and people just staring at us like, I mean, I did look really nice. I was definitely on a date, but honestly, the way that people were looking at us was just like red carpet, paparazzi. Like it, it was odd. And I know it wasn't because we were the most beautiful people in the mall. It was because, you know, we were two, you know, dark, darker skinned people together. Um, and that's not normal anyhow. The way that Black women in interracial relationships discuss Black men is very different from the way that Black men in interracial relationships discuss Black women. And I have noticed that as a theme throughout my years of living. And I have an example here of what I see so often. So I'm just going to uh, go on ahead and play the video so that you can see what I mean. I don't really want to be the poster child for interracial relationships because I'm not really the biggest advocate of it. If that throws people off, but I'm like, it's not it's just, it's not that easy. And I don't like when people date outside their race like it's a fetish or a fantasy. Like that bothers me because I love black people. I love black men. I think they're beautiful. So, and he understands that. Like, I, I don't want him to feel like he's my token, like savior. That's not it. Like, I love you because you're a good person, but there's a lot of good black men, too. And I try to get that point across because it, it often hurts my feelings when people compliment my relationship because he's not black. Right. That irritates me. They're like, oh, well, it's because you have white men or he's white and Asian. Or I need to go get yeah. you. I'm like, no, you need to get you somebody who loves you and who's faithful to you, regardless of what they look like. So I think that's why I try to share that, that love is something that's... It is beyond color, but it, you have to have more than love to make a relationship work, especially if you're going to date outside your race. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update. So you notice there was no encouraging him to put down Black men. There was no encouraging him to feel superior to Black men right? As opposed to when Black men date out, you know, they are constantly encouraging this, these women to feel superior to Black women. She wanted to make sure he didn't have some kind of savior's complex or, you know, that she understands that she, that he understands that she feels so uncomfortable when Black women are like, child, I need to go out and get me one of them. And she's like, no, very Crystal and cares and about it, like character over color. Don't worry about his color. You need to go out and find someone who loves you and is good to you, regardless of his color, character over color, right? That's very normal for African-American women who are dating interracially. 
Whereas when black men are dating interracially, so often there is this, uh, this anti-black sentiment, this black women are this and that, and they're unfit and we don't want to come home to this and that type of person, whatever. And she has encouraged no such thing. And if you're looking at the comment section, you may not be able to see it very well, but um, I can. So I'm going to go on ahead and maximize it a little bit. So um, one of the commenters says the way she spoke about black men and how she still has love for them made me wonder how many black men who are in a relationship with a non-black woman speak about black women in the same manner. This is why I'm more understandable, or she probably should have said more understanding towards a black woman who's in an interracial relationship than a black man who was with a non-black woman. Because despite the black woman being with someone from another race, she will rarely bash another black man. But I can't say the same about black men. Now, keep in mind, I'm just reading the comments that are here. But there's a reason this perfect stranger has the exact same sentiment that I do. Tabitha L says, she wants everyone to understand that she loves him for who he is and how he treats her and not because she hates black men or finds them unattractive or wants to marry interracial because of fetish. And I love, I love it and that's how it should be. Tiffany Stalwell says, I wonder if they could have found a black man in the same situation, say the things she said while looking at his non-black spouse. Now, some black men who are with and biracial children are a huge source of this kind of information. But you'll see black men cower in the faces of their white women, afraid to speak the way that this black woman just did when she was just like, nah, I love you for you. You're not better than black men. Yes, you are a good, good, you know, half white, half Asian man, but yo, straight up, straight up and down, there are good black men out there as well. We just click, we just match. This has nothing to do with your race. This is about me and you. This is about our heart, our souls, our chemistry. You're not, you know, my white savior. Like, like, no, that's that's not a part of our relationship. That's not some fantasy that I have. It's not going down like that. I respect black men. She said that in his face, right in front of him, literally sitting skin to skin. I've never seen that in the reverse. And there are so many women in this comment section who are saying the same thing. So there are people, they're just saying they love this. Um, let's see. <laughs> Lorraine, um, Lorraine comments, this isn't black love <laughs> because the series is called black love. Uh, <laughs> on own. Anyhow, let me go on ahead and like the video since I just uh, reviewed the content. But basically, there you have it. Um, this doesn't need to be any longer. It's just, um, I've noticed with biracial children who are half black and half white, there is almost an all out war between biracial children with white mothers and biracial children with black mothers. So often, you know, people are like, oh, yeah, well, if, like black men say, you know, she marries out, you know, her kids aren't going to know who they are and they're just going to be white because a white man, you know, the kid, the race belongs with the father. And if the daddy is white, then the kid is white and you get we create black kids, but you can't blah, blah, blah. And I mean, my nephew, whose father is white, he doesn't even look like a mixed kid. If you guys have ever seen my nephew, he just looks like a pale, extra high yellow black boy. He, he doesn't look biracial. Um, but so often you have, when these biracial children have black mothers, they're black identified. Whereas when you have biracial children who have white mothers, they oftentimes experience some of the most brutal forms of mental anguish when it comes to identity crisis. Because children identify with their mother. For political reasons, I understand that people are identified with the dad and, you know, in Islam, for example, lineage follows the father. However, in Judaism, you know, lineage, it, it follows the mother. So, you know, whatever you're more oriented to, but like 
there are so many ideas that are conveyed in the relationships of white female, black male relationships where it's like, basically, you know what supremacy and you know what ism, you know? Whereas, you know, kids with black moms tend to be woke, tend to be black identified, tend to be comfortable in their skin. Like uh, there's a contrast and I, I do have a video about that on my channel and you could see, you know, the different biracial people with different parental parent uh, pairings just going off in the comment section about, you know, this, this undercurrent and unspoken war between the two, you know, because in reality, like biracial people are supposed to be, you know, this community, you know, we're all mixed, blah, blah, blah. But like, no, it, it is so nuanced. And there is, unfortunately, there's a lot of hatred of blackness and specifically of black women that comes out of white female, black male unions. And even though I've got my, you know, wonderful white aunts who would never, you know, with their black men do that kind of thing, I still, I mean, got to speak on what is the general thing. Let me know if you agree in the comments below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I am Uppity Unicorn. And I am out of here.